Stretching five and a half kilometers into the Arabian Gulf lies the most audacious engineering project the world has ever seen. Palm Jumeirah is so vast it can be seen from space. Built only from sand and rock, threatened by earthquakes, violent storms and erosion from the sea, it's remarkable that Palm Jumeirah exists at all. If God had wanted an island in the shape of a palm tree in the ocean, he'd have put one here. Engineers must race against time and battle constantly with the forces of nature. This is a megastructure they thought could never be built. August 2001. The Arabian Gulf is a massive activity. Dubai is building one of the biggest man-made islands Engineers have a daunting task ahead of them, because this is a construction like no other. All structures stand in defiance of nature. Most are built from concrete and steel, materials that are artificially strengthened. But this massive island is being constructed out at sea, using only natural materials, sand and rock. Both start eroding the moment they hit the water. For project manager Bob Berger, it's a daunting task. Any construction is in defiance to nature, and this is an extreme example of that. Every day, we're trying to prevent the destruction of what we built. The Middle East, Dubai, the jewel of the Arab world. A kingdom built on the profits of its oil reserves. This tiny emirate, twice the size of London, is one of the richest places in the Arab world. But it hasn't always been like this. Fifty years ago, Dubai was a trading town built on a creek. Over half a century later, it's been transformed. Now it's famous for gold, trade, and oil. But there's a problem on the horizon. By 2016, the oil will have run out. It'll mean disaster for the economy. Dubai must find a new source of income. The Crown Prince, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has a $2 billion plan to save his country. He's ordered his kingdom to transform itself into the world's number one luxury tourist destination. And the Crown Prince has a history of getting what he wants. To put Dubai on the map, he's already built one of the most luxurious hotels in the world, the Burj Al Arab. Created top-class golf and race courses, and is planning the world's tallest building. But now, the Crown Prince's big idea is mass tourism. Dubai seems the perfect spot. It offers sun almost every day of the year, glorious beaches and azure seas. Five million tourists visit here annually, now they want to triple this to 15 million. But there's a problem. The coastline is a mere 72 kilometers long. Not enough space for all these extra people. But how do you make your coastline longer? The Crown Prince's plan is to build a massive island. And he wants it done by 2006. What better for a paradise island than the shape of a palm tree? Five and a half kilometers across, it increases the coastline by a whopping 56 kilometers. But no one has ever built an island this size and shape before. When I first heard of this project, I couldn't believe it. I thought it's incredible. The extraordinary plan is to build a city at sea. The palm will be covered with luxury villas, shopping malls, and restaurants. The crescent-shaped breakwater, linked to the palm by a tunnel, will hold 22 hotels. The easiest way to build such a massive structure at sea is to use concrete and steel. But this doesn't fit with the Crown Prince's plans. His idea creates an added challenge. To blend in with its surroundings, the island must be made entirely from natural materials. The palm-shaped island will only be made from sand, 94 million cubic meters of it. All that protects this from the sea will be a breakwater, 5.5 million cubic meters of rock. 
Together, there's enough sand and rock to build a two and a half meter high wall circling the entire world. This may be the only place in the world where something like this can be done, to have the vision and then the courage to carry it through. To make this audacious plan a reality, Dubai needs the best engineers on the planet. A worldwide search leads to Northern Europe and Holland. Experts in land reclamation, the Dutch have increased Holland's landmass by 35%. The Dutch team are immediately booked for the job. The first thing they must prove is that it's possible to build an island out in the Arabian Gulf and that it'll stay there. They know the only way to keep the island in position is to surround it by a breakwater. But just how big does this sea defense need to be? To find out, the searchers must calculate the strength of Dubai's storms, the height of the waves and tidal surges, and what effect global warming will have in raising the sea level. The biggest fear for all coastal engineers are massive freak waves. These waves build up over long distances, pushed by persistent winds and large currents. They destroy nearly everything in their path. But the island builders are lucky. The research teams worked out that the Arabian Gulf is the perfect place to build this megastructure. On average, the Gulf is only 30 meters deep, and it's only 160 kilometers wide. It's too short and too shallow for catastrophic waves to build up. But the team know they will get Shamal storms. Every winter, these intense northerly storms bring high winds and two-meter waves that will batter the structure. The searchers must also factor in the worst-case scenario, the storm that hits once in a hundred years. The team do the final calculations. To protect this fragile island, the breakwater must be at least three meters high above the waves and 11 and a half kilometers long. But just when the engineers thought they were ahead, they're given another challenge. The developers in charge of this megastructure want to start construction immediately, before the research is complete. It's a huge gamble that could come back to bite them. If they haven't got it right, the whole structure might be washed away. August 2001, the breakwater construction team take to the sea. But just as they get started, disaster strikes. September the 11th, 2001. The World Trade Center in New York is attacked in a brutal act of terrorism. Overnight, tourism to the Middle East stops. But work has already started on the Palm Island. Will millions of dollars and months of research all be in vain? September 2001. In the wake of terrorist attacks in the United States, travel abroad halts abruptly. Fear and panic spread. People are too frightened to travel, particularly to the Middle East. It could have disastrous consequences for Dubai's ambitious plans. Work has already begun on building one of the biggest man-made structures in the world. A giant palm-shaped island that'll transform Dubai into a world-class holiday destination. The massive 11 and a half kilometer breakwater is under construction. Both the breakwater team and the Palm Island team are assembled to make the dream a reality. But 9-11 throws the plans into turmoil. 1,200 foreign engineers fear their lives could be in danger. They make contingencies.